Hi, I'm Bria Bone, your non-traditional real estate agent coach. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to become a real estate agent in Denver. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video about being a real estate agent. I've been a real estate agent since October 2018, and I'm so excited to help you start or further your real estate career. So a quick disclaimer, I currently live and work in Colorado, so this video focuses on becoming a real estate agent in Colorado. That being said, if you're not in Colorado, keep watching because some of the information will apply to you, including my real estate school recommendation and discount. However, please be aware that some information will differ. The first step to become a real estate agent is to take your pre-licensing classes. I recommend Calibri and you can click the link in the description below for a discount. Please note that that link is an affiliate link where I earn a small amount when you use that link. However, you aren't obligated to use that link. If you want to support me and my business, please make sure you click the link and make your purchase in that tab. Also, I recommend the exam preparation or exam preparation plus package. Lastly, if you want to do your own research, you can find a list of more Colorado schools on the Colorado Department of Regulatory Agencies or DORA website. And DORA is the licensing agency for Colorado, by the way. If you're located in another state, you can find your licensing agency by Googling it. Also, in addition to Colorado, Calibri has pre-licensing classes in 40 other states, including Texas. So the pre-licensing classes are broken down into six classes totaling 168 hours, and they are real estate law and practice, Colorado contracts and regulations, trust accounts and record keeping, current legal issues, real estate closings, and practical applications. When you sign up for real estate school, make sure you sign up for all six classes, totaling 168 hours. FYI, Calibri offers four different packages for Colorado, and all four include all six classes totaling 168 hours. The four packages are the basics, exam preparation, exam preparation plus, and ultimate learning. As I mentioned before, I recommend the exam preparation or exam preparation plus packages. Now for two FAQs. The question I get asked most frequently about pre-licensing classes is whether I took them in person or online. When I got my Texas license, I took them in person, and when I got my Colorado license, I took them online. I got my Texas license in 2018, and at that time, I felt like I learned better in person, so I took them in person. However, there were some online elements, like we did take the tests online. The school I went to also offered online classes at the time I took them. However, I think they only offer online classes now. That being said, I've gotten more used to learning online since 2018, so I took my Colorado pre-licensing classes online, and I passed the exam on my first try like I did with the Texas exam. However, one tip I have, whether you're taking your pre-licensing classes in person or online, is to rewrite your notes by hand and then read them out loud to yourself at least a few times. I used that study method when I got my Texas and Colorado licenses, and it definitely helped me better retain the information for the exam. So for you to decide whether to take them in person or online, consider how you learn best, which you prefer, and which works best for your schedule. So comment below if you want to become a real estate agent, and if so, which state you'll be getting your license in. Also, comment below if you're already licensed and a new real estate agent. I'd love to see what my audience is for a video like this. The second question I get asked most frequently is how long it took me to take the pre-licensing classes. It took me two and a half months to take the Texas ones. However, I did have a job at the time, and since the classes were in person at a set day and time, I had to work around my work schedule. With the Colorado ones, it took me two months. Since they were online, I didn't have to work around my work schedule as much, or at least it was easier to. However, I also moved to Colorado during those two months, so I had a lot of things going on in my life and taking up my time at that time. If you're able to solely focus on the pre-licensing classes, you can get them done in a month. However, the average time it takes because most people either have a job or something else going on in their life is three to six months. So when you complete the pre-licensing classes, you'll receive proof of completion or Rec 33 certificates for each of the six classes. 
You'll need these certificates when you apply to get your license, so make sure you save them as you complete each class. The second step to become a real estate agent is to take your exam. Your real estate school will provide more information on preparing for the exam, but here's some basic information. In Colorado, the exams are administered by PSI and it costs $44.95. They have several locations in Denver, and when you create an account and book your exam, you can pick the location closest to you. Also, please know that they're typically booked out at least one week. I just checked their website before filming this video, and they're currently a little over three weeks booked out right now, so plan for that delay as you're preparing for the exam. So the PSI website has a lot of information on the exam process. However, here's some basic information. PSI asks that you arrive 30 minutes before your exam time, and I actually arrived extra early for mine, and it removed a lot of my stress of potential traffic and other delays. It also gave me the chance to read my notes out loud to myself one last time before I took the exam. So leave and arrive extra early so you can do the same. As I mentioned before, the PSI website has a lot of information on the exam process, so read through their information as you book your exam and then the day before your exam. So they give you 120 minutes for the national exam, which is two hours, and 110 minutes for the Colorado exam, which is a little under two hours. When I took the exam, I didn't even come close to four hours, so try to relax as much as you can and take your time to really read and understand the questions. So when you pass the exam, you'll be automatically emailed proof of passing. You'll need this PDF when you apply to get your license, so make sure you save it like you did your Rec 33 certificates. So if this is resonating with you, hit that like button right now. The third step to become a real estate agent is to complete a background check, which is getting your fingerprints done. The DORA website has more information about getting your fingerprints done, including three options. The option I used was Colorado fingerprinting and it cost $54.50. Like with PSI, the Colorado fingerprinting website has a lot of information on the fingerprinting process. However, here's some basic information. They have several different locations and like with PSI, you'll need to create an account and schedule a location, day, and time. You'll also need to include the code that the DORA website provides so that the fingerprinting place will automatically send the results to DORA without any further action needed by you. Once you get your fingerprints done, it'll take one to three days for the results to be sent to DORA, so plan for that delay as you're preparing for the exam. FYI, if you have something that is going to show up that doesn't necessarily mean you'll be denied a license, you'll be given the option to explain what happened if applicable. The fourth step to become a real estate agent is to apply to become a licensed real estate agent or broker. You'll create an, an account and submit an application on the website of the licensing ag agency in Colorado, which is the Colorado Department of Regulatory Agencies or DORA. As you're filling out the application, you'll need your ID, Rec 33 certificates, and PDF of proof of passing the exam, and DORA will have needed to receive the results of your background check already. There will also be a section where you need to select the brokerage you're joining. And lastly, the cost of the broker application fee is $485. For more information on how to choose a real estate brokerage, watch this video, which is linked in the description below. The brokerage you're joining will have more information on how to do this and they'll also have information regarding your errors and omissions insurance or ENO, which you'll also need for your application. Also, as you can probably guess by now, there's a delay that you need to plan for. It can take up to 10 business days for your application to be reviewed and approved and it may take longer if there's something that shows up on your background check. I applied for my Colorado broker's license on Friday and it was approved the following Thursday, so it took four business days for me. That being said, since you already know which brokerage you're joining, you can start to attend education and training classes while you wait for your application to be reviewed and approved. Once your application is approved, you'll be issued a broker's license and you'll have officially become a real estate agent in Colorado. If you're in the process of becoming a real estate agent, or if you're a current real estate agent who wants to take their business to the next level, I'd love to help. Click the link in the description below for your future real estate agent guide and or to schedule a call with me. 
I'd love to answer any questions you have, whether they're about real estate in general, choosing a brokerage, and or joining Keller Williams. Lastly, if you happen to live and work in or around Denver, I'd love to give you more information about joining my market center, which is Keller Williams Avenues. That being said, I'd love to connect with you whether you're located in Colorado, another state, Canada, or anywhere else in the world. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.